tickets you want. We gave you them because I get you tickets for sure. Oh, I appreciate that. I don't mind, you know, yeah, nah, man, it's fine. <laughs> I appreciate like you. I, see, I appreciate you. Gotta be true to yourself. In a world, there's nothing else. nothing else. Gotta play the game right. Gotta make your path. You scratch, you dig, you lay in your ground. You busting your rounds. Nobody gonna stop you. No ops, no cops. Everything about you looking good. You good, she good. Y'all people really wanna know the reason. What's that? It's that ripple effect. That's just that ripple, ripple. That's just that ripple effect. What you do, come back, come triple. Back, triple. Hey, what's going on? It's your girl K Dog back in the Ripple Effect. You already know what it is. You already know the vibes. Got a very special guest, Mr. Marvin Smith Jr. here, up and coming star. I'm telling you, he's, he's the one. A lot of people, especially you know, certain reporters, like to say you know, athletes just need to shut up and dribble. Now, this this dude is far from that. Master's degree. Sure. It, he went through his ups and downs, but he definitely came out on the end of his strong positive role model for his community, younger brother looking up to him. And what was that very specific um, degree you actually uh, So I got my undergrad in business administration, nice. and I got my master's in information technology. Ooh. Yeah. So for our listeners out here who have no idea what that means, information technology, can you uh, expand on that? I mean, it, it can range from coding, uh, okay. web web design, web programming, nice. app developing, right. cyber security. Right, and that makes sense. Wide range of things. Yeah. So you're talking about, so you already got your business straight, and you're talking about designing and yeah. moving on to different things. And I hear you have a label. You want to tell us about your um, your apparel and, yeah. and how that got started? So I just released uh, my apparel line like uh, two months ago. Um, you know, I played in the G League last year with the Vipers on the championship. Absolutely. So, um, you know, I won a championship at every level I played at. So I just thought it was kind of special to put it on the T-shirt. Um, I put the street that I grew up on. Um, I got the Virginia logo on it, the I-95. It's to represent Virginia. Right. It's to pay some homage back to, you know what I'm saying, the city that I grew up in and have so much love for. Right. I like that. Yeah, you definitely bring it home. So you talk about... Virginia versus everybody, right? Yeah, or Richmond sure. versus everybody yeah, in particular. Sure. So what would make you um wanna, you know, kinda really grab people's attention? What is so special about Richmond? I'm from New York. But yeah. People wanna know what's so special about Richmond? Um, I mean, it's just a it's a lot of talent here. You know what I'm saying? In all aspects, whether it's sports, clothing, right. uh, music. Uh, it's great food here, um, and, and the people here like all oh, love it. That's why, like, I mean, it's been times I've been out in the city and somebody recognized me, like, hey, you play, you feel me? So it's a lot of people showing a lot of love here. Right. Um, so that's one of the things that make Richmond kind of unique, and that, that I love. I, that's why I love giving back to this community too, because I want to see the younger kids and the younger generation taking part in what I do. I like that. Just trying to give them a couple little cheat codes and stuff <laughs> that they can. Right. You don't have to go through that that I had to go through. Right, we all need a blueprint, you know? And yeah. we kind of got a little small taste of that here at um, Kicks Mania. Yeah. Um, so definitely tell us, you uh, You told me that you were going to be um, with the Celtics in G League soon, yeah. right? So how do you feel about that? Like, uh, man, I'm, it's, I'm excited. It's, uh, it's a great opportunity for me. Right. Um, I have a connection uh, with the general manager there. Right. So it was kind of, yeah, it was kind of, yeah, it's cold up there for sure. <laughs> Okay. Um, so it was kind of it was kind of special how that thing kind of worked out. Okay. Um, I known him since high school. He recruited me uh, wow. at Division Three school, and obviously I had dreams to go to Division One, but I still can't step in, can't stay in contact with him. Okay. Uh, didn't blow him off. Right. Um, and it's just crazy how things come full circle now. So um, I'm definitely good. looking forward to this season. You know what I'm saying? Going up there, stepping into this new opportunity, and. Um, Get that call up this year. Yeah, there sure. you go. I like that because yeah. there's a lot of stars that came from you know the G League, a yeah. lot. But the one that really sticks out to me in particular is um, Gary Payton II. Yeah. And everybody thinks you know he has a big name and yeah. he's supposed to be a team pro for him. Yeah. And he kind of went through his ups and downs yeah. being in the G League, but look what happened with the Warriors yeah. the championship, right? Yeah. So you're kind of hoping to have that that kind of thing. Nah, no, for know? sure. <laughs> I mean, everybody journey different. So, of course. You know what I'm saying? So mine's been been different in here. Um, right. I went overseas for two and a half years. I got cut. I got drafted right. into the G League by the Bulls. Got cut. Went overseas. Right. Came back. So, and then as I continue to move forward, like I definitely uh, draw inspiration from that type of stuff. Cause you know guys like him and other guys who went undrafted and went to the G League and got into the league and went on to earn these contracts and stuff like that. They showed that it was possible. Right. But 
but I have a, a even bigger vision too. So like I said, they, they, I definitely draw inspiration and I admire and I salute those guys because they help pave the way for guys like me. And what I'm trying to do is just take it even further, pave another way for you know what I'm saying, another group of athletes. I love that. It's all yeah. about resilience. It's all about staying strong. And at the end sure. of the day, adversity is what builds you, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. everybody always talks about the wins, but they don't really see how the losses yeah. actually builds character and actually sure. got you to that point. So yeah. we definitely love that. But yeah. what would you, who would you say that you model your game after in the end? Um, Kawhi Leonard, that's the uh, guy that I, I that. and it's kind of crazy. Cool, huh? yeah. <laughs> I, I, it, before I grew my hair out, that my college coach, yeah, my college coach, this was, I just grew my hair three years ago, so before they even happened, my college coach, my sophomore year told me, like, that's the guy that you should study. Right. So I used to watch it, and then obviously when I grew my hair out, I got the braids. <laughs> I heard people say, like, you, you might come on, man. <laughs> So I begin to like the loose comparison and stuff, but that's a guy that, like I said, we got a similar body, uh, body frame, go six, 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 seven, big wings who can defend and do multiple things. So that's the guy who I really look at. I like that. You guys um, have the same laugh? Or? Nah, nah, nah. I don't laugh like that. <laughs> that's what. <you're> <laughs> that's cool. So just for the people out there, like, what's what's a routine like? Like, you guys gotta work on your mind, especially yeah. nowadays with better health. You know, you definitely have to understand that nutrition is important. Yeah. There's a lot of things that, especially Richmond, they have a lot of good food. But yeah. you try to stay away from anything. No, nah, for sure. So, like, I mean, obviously, like, everybody had their little moments. So, I, I, fresh after the season, I give myself, like, a week to kind of enjoy. But, right. especially during the season, I stay away from five fried foods or eat any pork. Just try to eat a lot of lean meats, like salmon, yeah, turkey, sure. ground turkey. I mean, yeah, turkey. Uh, I don't eat too much beef. I do eat beef. It's a lean cut of steak. Okay. Uh, a lot of vegetables, you know, uh, roasted potatoes and stuff like that. Um, fruit, your smoothies. I take supplements too as well. Legal supplements. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Uh, no, but that's all. That's but yeah, that, yeah, definitely do that stuff. And the routine for me is I, I just try to like, every morning I try to just meditate. You know what I mean? To take a time to myself to just meditate on day my vision and what I'm working towards and just trying to just set my attention each day. Um, and after that, you know, I head to the gym, get some work in, obviously. During the year, we got practice. Off season, I work out three, four times a day. Um, yeah, head to practice, after practice, cook. I cook a lot, I don't eat out too much. So, yeah, and then get back in the gym. I mean, I try to live in the gym instead of gym as much as possible. That's good. Yeah. So we don't want to give too many secrets away. Yeah, yeah, but that's good though. So we already talked about meditation, how you're going to keep your body right, yeah. your nutrition, everything. Because stuff is so important. Yeah. Um, but definitely, um, I don't want to hold you too much because the after time is precious. Nah, you fine. So at the end of the day, um, I just want to know, like, you said you have bigger goals. Bigger yeah. Visions. Like, are you talking LeBron James type vision? Or are we talking something in a different uh Nah, I mean, I, I like to keep that type stuff like super personal, but you can, here. You, you, yeah, you just want to see I, the I, work, right? Along, along those lines, with yeah. LeBron, like the stuff that he's doing is definitely inspiring to me. That's what I'm, right. I'm working towards. So I'm not going to detail everything, but the yeah. level that he took it to, right. that's what I'm aiming for. I'm yeah. going to, at the end of the day, I just set out. I want to be go down as one of the greats. And I know, like I said, my journey is different. I'm 27 years old, but... Why not me? Exactly, you know what I'm I like, like that. Like Russell Westbrook, why yeah, not? Who said it was too late um, no, for me to, late. you know what I'm saying, still be, at, when it's all said and done to me, be considered as one of the greats and be able to sit at the table with those type guys. Oh, for you sure. know what I'm saying? So, the sky's the limit. Yeah, for know? sure. So, not putting no limitation on myself. Right, that's um, it. And that's, that's just my mind frame and what I'm working towards. I love it. So, just to cap it off, any advice you would give to someone else who That they had before in the past, or none of that. Go like go go to a, 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 a school that a coach gonna be honest with you, and they buy you and they want you. And they have a plan for you, and trust that plan too as well. And um, a quote that um, it, 
it kind of hit. I kind of been living throughout my throughout my whole life, but it finally like really these words really kind of hit me this summer. And um, it's that uh, my destination is clear, but my path is uncertain. And if I can find peace in that, I can gain strength in that. So that's that's one of the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's something that um, they kind of hit me this summer, and I just been telling myself that because like I said I know exactly what I want out of this game and what I'm working towards but you know my path is, is uncertain and um, you know it's, it's, it's hard to like accept when things don't necessarily go exactly how you envision it to go so that's where the peace comes in when you have peace in, you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm a believer in God you know what I'm saying having faith in the man above um, you know that everything is going to work out because he wouldn't put it on your heart you know what I'm saying if it wasn't for you Exactly. And just you have peace and knowing that what's for you is gonna come. You gain the strength that you need to to, to go where you need where you're trying to get to. So I'm gonna end it there. I can't say anything better than that. Guys, always sure. remember one thing: losses equals life lessons. Wow. Sure. Thank you so it. much. You that was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> we gotta stay in touch. Man. I wanna yeah. see you know. I'll, I'll even come to Boston. Yeah, you know, no, for sure. I'm a fan. Right. Gotta be true to yourself. yourself. In the world, there's nothing else. nothing else. Gotta play the game right, gotta make your path. You scratch, you dig, you lay in your ground. You busting your rounds, nobody gonna stop you. No ops, no cops, everything about you. Looking good, you good, she good. good. Y'all people really wanna know the reason. What's that? It's that ripple effect. That's just that ripple, ripple. That's just that ripple effect. What you do, come back, come triple. Back, triple.